that girl that was the in front of Well, now the question is, what will black people do about this? This situation right here with this little puppet at Sesame Place is not surprising at all. Sesame Place has been doing this to black children and black people for years. They've just been able to get away with it. I mean, this person who did this, who shunned the little black kids like this, it was very obvious in what they were doing. They didn't just start doing this that day. It just said it was caught on camera. This is somebody who works there. This is a white supremacist who has been doing this. You know what I mean? This is somebody who just imagine what they're doing when they're working at that stand and you order a slushy or something that can mix well or you're fried. These are these are those white people that go spitting in your food and all this other stuff. So it's just a sad thing. I guarantee you after this, there'll be a hundred more stories of black people coming out saying how they were mistreated at Sesame Place. This is no surprise. Sesame Place has a has been racist like this. But the question is now, what do black people do? What's interesting to me is if you went to that little kid or those kids and you said to them in their young minds, hey, you see what happened? What you want to do? Those little kids will say, I don't want to go back there. Because they, they're thinking with more of a pure mind. But once somebody has been corrupted from years of having an inferiority complex, you know, genetic tags from slavery, the Jim Crow era, the crack era and things like that. Once somebody's mind has been messed up and corrupted like that, what they'll do and what I hope we don't do, which has been so common in this situation, we will turn this into a begging situation. So instead of saying, no, you know what? You don't appreciate our money. We can go somewhere else. We can do our own thing. There's plenty of other things for us to do. Black people will go beg Sesame Place to accept them back. Very similar to the situation that doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know if you've seen recently, not too long ago, there was a video of this rapper named Jim Jones. He went into a store. He wanted to spend thousands of dollars. These people paid him no attention, treated him bad. And he was yelling and arguing with them and yelling because he wanted to be accepted. They didn't even want his money. They, they wasn't beat on no customer service with him or trying to treat him well. But instead of him saying, you know what, let me just leave. He sat there yelling and screaming and pouting at them as if that was something. What that means is when you see black people do that, that is a corrupted mind. Y'all, This is somebody who's struggling. He has Stockholm syndrome, you know, like like many of us. You know, this is a mind. This is somebody who's really messed up from many eras of racism and white supremacy in America. Because if you go ask a person of any other race. And I'm not giving them more props or credit or anything because these things have not been done to them, would have been done to us in America. But if you go ask somebody from any other race, hey, what would you do? They said, I'll, I'll say F that story. We're not going back, but not us. What we'll do is beg. So uh, this, this Sesame Place situation could possibly turn into a black people begging situation. Now, what Sesame Place would do is they'll follow the typical routine that they do with black people. They'll go ahead. This is the perfect time for a black person, black woman, black man to go ahead and move up in a position. And they'll say, hey, look at us. We just hired Tyrone Williams or or Edith Long or whatever or, uh, you know, Mary Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Put her in a position for diversity posters. And then people will say, oh, well, look, Sesame Place, look, they're not racist no more. And we really believe this mess. We fall for this okie doke. But I don't know what to say, y'all. Um, I think this is the time that people just need to say, you know what? You're not accepting our money. We could be treated better somewhere else. We don't have to go here. You know what I mean? And, you know, but a lot of times, y'all, it, it's sad. It, this turns into a begging situation for us. It'll be a celebrity. Some Negro shine bone pop up and say, they never treated me bad. And I, you, you, I give they you. you. <laughs> The whole stupid talk, you know, but, you know, I don't know what to say, y'all. This is just not something that's surprising. It just was caught on camera. This has been going on for years. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. And of course, people will say, well, that's just one white person working there doing it. I didn't have that experience. The problem with the system of racism and white supremacy is it takes one bad apple to spoil the whole bunch.
You know what I mean? And again, this isn't the first time that this happened anyway. This is the first time this person did this. This person knew they can get away with this and they have plenty of other employees who fall under the same ideology or school, or, or school of thought. But, you know, hopefully, man, we don't just start begging y'all. That's that's all I can say. Easy. Dad, I think today's perfect. <laughs> A full day weather forecast of sunny skies and smiles. What are you two doing? Dad and I are taking a break from our nature walk. Yes, and we stop for a moment to enjoy the colorful leaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look how low the leaves are falling. Yeah. Look, look. This leaf is red like Elmo's fur. Oh, oh, oh. And this leaf is brown like Russ's skin. Good observation, Elmo. Oh, thank you. Oh, Elmo has a question. Oh, oh what is it, Elmo? Well, Elmo wants to know why Russ's skin is brown. Oh, oh I know why, Elmo. My, my mom and dad told me. It's because of melanin. Uh, right, Dad? That's right. Melanin? Melanin is something that we each have inside our bodies that make the outside of our bodies the skin color that it is. It also gives us our eye and our hair color. Oh, and our fur color? Yes, that's right. Exactly, Elmo. Oh, but if we all have melanin, why are we different colors? Like, why is Mr. Elijah's skin a darker brown than Russell's skin? Oh, that's a good question, Elmo. Well, it's because the more melanin you have, the darker your skin looks. Ah. The color of our skin is an important part of who we are. But we should all know that it's okay that we all look different in so very many ways. Oh, oh well, Elmo's fur is red and soft. Oh, and my hair is black and curly. <laughs> Things on the outside, like our skin color, our hair texture, uh -huh. our noses... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our mouths and eyes make us who we are. Many people call this race. But even though we look different, we're all part of the human race. <laughs> Isn't it cool, Elmo? Very cool. <laughs> huh, look at the leaves. <sighs> what do you two see? Oh, um, oh, Elmo sees leaves that are all different colors. And the different colors look really cool together. Yes, those leaves came from one amazing tree. Standing strong, its branches like arms stretch wide, with leaves of many different colors, side by side, swing together in the breeze. Oh, like this? Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when people of all colors come together, we stand strong, like this tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, Elmo. Oh, this leaf looks just like us, two colors side by side. Beautiful. Beautiful together. 